Hi. It's Gen 3rd. It's time for another Isaac run. Um, yesterday, I did Isaac to Mum's Heart. It was very tight. Very, very nearly lost. Um, but we got a second win in there. We're two for two. I think today, because it's going to be a good idea to do some other heart runs while that's what we're doing. Maybe we're doing Azazel, keep it nice and simple. Um, just because it's, it's a lot earlier today than it was yesterday or the day before. Um, and as such, I'm pretty sleepy. So if I can do something that's not going to be as complicated, I can rock with that. Um, things to talk about. I streamed last night. That was pretty fun. I did uh, Super Mario 64. And I didn't preface it as a speedrun. I didn't, you know, it was never originally meant to be a speedrun. Because I assumed that all of the glitches and things would be tricky enough. Uh, or complicated enough that I wouldn't just be able to do them having eyeballed them one time <laughs> on, a, on a live stream. But they were not. I actually, like, the, I, it essentially became training for a speedrun because uh, after the first few tricks, I had kind of managed to execute them all just from memory. And without very much practice. You know, I, I think the first, the first big glitch that I used was... Uh, I, I got it on, like, my, sec my third try, I think? Is my third, third or fourth try? Which, like, that one's got a good few steps to it. It's like, you, you go to this beam, you stand, you run to the far end, fall off, get back up, flip, spin your camera, punch, spin your camera, do this, do that. It's kind of crazy. Um, okay. That's not too bad. If it works the way that I think it works. Um... But yeah, it, it was it was pretty good in the end. Um, I think mixed bag on the on the Mario speed run. I think some people enjoyed it, some people didn't. Because um, we also had some some thief demanders in the chat, and so on and so forth. But um, I I think I personally had a good time, and uh, ooh yes please, I personally had a really good time playing it. And it felt very good to complete a speed run for the first time. Because it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time, but always felt very inaccessible. I was looking before the stream at Thief speedruns, because I've, I've played Thief before. I haven't played all of it, but I've played the Lord Bafford's mansion level, which was a lot of fun. And we were basically, oh no, we were basically trying to speedrun it anyway. I thought maybe there's like an actual speed run that we can use and we can try and figure out how to go even faster. Um, there were speed runs and they looked pretty doable but there were no explanations of how to do any of the tricks and when I tried them I couldn't quite replicate them and there were multiple versions of the game. I like this. Um, okay. Uh, invincibility and contact damage for six seconds. I'll take that. Um, and yeah, I just, I couldn't quite figure out how to do any of the tricks. And so ultimately it didn't really go anywhere. Mm. Okay, some spirit hearts would be nice. Um, but yeah, I, I, um, I found it, I found it very fun. It took, I think, two hours and 50 minutes to finish the game. And by finish the game, I mean a 16 star run. Um, which is, I think, the l the minimum number of stars you can finish the game in. So, that would be why it's that number specifically. I think, because you need to be able to have enough stars to get into certain doors. So you need, like, eight stars to get to Bowser 1. And then from there, you kind of unpack the whole thing with glitches. Um, and you get, sort of, a certain number of stars that I think... It's less about getting the actual stars... And more about, hmm, let's take you, and let's go in here. Missing page two, plus one black heart, one down to one heart, damages all enemies in the room. Black hearts in, 
I mean, we could take this to just kind of get back to our starting point. I'm fine with that. We can use you, go down here. Cool. Um, yeah, so, so you end up, I think, getting uh, a certain number of um, stars just as a result of trying to trigger certain events in the game, rather than to get the stars, because you do end up doing a lot of um, glitches and tricks to just kind of circumvent the star limitations that are on the later levels. The most exciting one of, of which uh, has got to be the BLJs. The, the backwards long jumps, as I've, as I've now come to find out that that stands for. And that's the, the trick that you would have seen people doing on YouTube, probably. Uh, like Mizkip and stuff would do on it. Um, and that's the one where you get to the stairs that lead into Bowser 3. And you have to perform the long jump, where you like go yahoo and go flying forwards. But you immediately push yourself backwards so that you yahoo forwards, full backwards, hit the stairs and then you just start mashing <laughs> jump as fast as you can and he starts like rapidly backstepping up the stairs and he gets faster and faster he being Mario, by the way um, and uh, and then you just go flying up the stairs incredibly fast and you phase through the door and it's kind of sick Hello? Uh, but yeah, the, the, the overall, we had some ups and downs. We got there in 2 hours 50, which was pretty sweet. I, I really didn't think I was going to finish the game that night. Like I said, it wasn't supposed to be any kind of speedrun thing. Um, but I'm glad it was. I had a really good time. And I think that tonight, for the second stream of the year, I'm going to... If I try other stuff as well, like if I play something else that night, or if I, you know, start just playing Mario 64 as it was intended, um, I think I'm gonna at least start the night off with a bit more of a, a deliberate attempt at the 64 speedrun. I'm not gonna officially time track it or anything, because that feels a little excessive for how little prep I've done. But what I am going to do is just not do any of the, like, faff that I was last time. I'm just gonna kind of actually do the, the steps now that I know them. And we'll see how long it takes. I want to say that I could potentially, if I'm, if I really nail it, and I don't, I don't f screw anything up, because, I mean, I had some stuff last night that, um, just, it wasn't, I just couldn't quite wrap my head around it for a while, so it was, like, getting... Getting, getting hold of Mips the Rabbit took me ages. This one star that was in a pyramid took me ages, just trying to get up there. Um, if I can tighten all of that up, like, pretty quickly on the fly, I, I do genuinely think we could clock in at under an hour. Maybe not on the, on the earlier end of the hour, but towards the later side, I think is, like, very doable. Um, considering, you know... It took nearly three hours, and we spent a long time getting extra stars that aren't in the run. And we also spent a lot of time messing up certain tricks. Um, you scare me a little bit. But I think we'll be okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, sorry, I lost my focus for a little because this guy is making me uneasy. Whoo, that was a good dodge. Um, there we go. <laughs> I do already have flight, but I guess I'll take a speed up. One second. Okay, uh, I'll take a little brim, and I think I'll leave it there. Lord of the Pit, and down we go. Alright, that was a little disheartening, that boss item. Um, but I guess it'll do. More speed is not to be completely frowned upon. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the speedrunning thing, I don't know if I could see myself doing it, like, with, um, do we want the Liberty Cap? I think it's alright. Um, I don't think I could see myself doing it with, like, full-on conviction, but to kind of do casually and, you know, say, hey, you know, I'm not gonna, 
try and set a world record for this, but I am going to um, finish the game in one sitting quite quickly and do some stuff that makes a person who hasn't learned how to do the speedrun go, whoa, what, how did you do that? That's crazy. Um, that, that's right up my alley. Um, that's about it for that stream. We did some flag quizzes at the end, uh, and I did okay. I don't think it was like a, an overall exciting um, result for the flag quiz. I don't think anyone, I mean, I don't, it's a flag quiz, right? I don't think anyone's going to be like, that's, that's nuts. How do you know so many flags? That just uh, quite a tangible thing. It didn't take me very long to learn, you know, a lot of them. And then I scored pretty well on the quiz that we did yesterday, despite having not really practiced. A dono machine would have been really nice. I guess we'll buy you. Homing tears. I don't think that really does anything on a Zazel. I might be wrong. Oh, we like you. Um, let's try and keep you safe. Nice. And then we're gonna spend, 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 because we didn't get a dono machine. Um, Emperor. Mm. Justice, I can use that. We're really looking for a health up here. Devil. Oh, that was the wrong card. Uh, justice is what we were looking for. That's a shame, because I wanted to use the devil in the boss. Some pills. Okay, I'll use the pills that match up. Okay. Um, let's take you. And we're going to go and try and get this other eternal heart. Um, yeah, all in all, the stream was fine. You know, nothing, nothing revolutionary happened, but that's to be expected. It was like my first... Must first stream in a while. Must stream in a mile. In a mile. In a mild. First stream in a while. So I wasn't really banking on anything crazy happening. I it was you know. We managed to. Hmm, we managed to get like a lot of the tricks done pretty quickly. Um, like I already said. So that was quite quite exciting. The 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 vods. I'm gonna try and put them up on YouTube soon, and those are gonna be there for. For posterity of me absolutely pogging off when I like get the BLJs and whatnot. Doing all the karate chops I was doing in the air. Um yeah. I'd say that's about it for current events. I haven't really done anything besides that. Went tried tried to go to the store yesterday and um it was closed because it was a Sunday. And I didn't really think about that at the time. But uh yeah, it was pretty quiet. What I will say happened relatively recently was uh, on the first... Mm, yeah, let's just go in. On the first, I tweeted that this was going to be my Kendall Roy year. And that has been playing on my mind a lot because along with anyone who has seen the tweet, uh, I don't actually know what that means. I don't know what it means to have a Kendall Roy year. Um, if you've seen Succession then you'll know of Kendall Roy. I don't know which season my Kendall Roy year is from. One second, I'm going to sip some water. I don't know which season my Kendall Roy year is going to be from. I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. Um, it's, it's, it's hard for me to say, but the, the more I've been thinking about it, the more I've realized I may have already had a Kendall Roy year. Um, which is to say that I, I worked at a job where I, I previously I worked at a job that had quite a, an interesting environment. Oh, okay, um, wherein I kind of like this. This relates to yesterday's episode, the, the touch grass conversation, and getting kind of caught up in the rat race a bit. Um, where I I kind of became like very. Uh, like in a in a negative way, quite hung up and obsessed with my job. Um, and like there was just there was a lot of weird drama, you know. It, I worked for a startup company. Oops. 
and it was all very tense. You know, there were there were like folks that that really thought they were like they were like something else. You know, and I was I ultimately I think I was one of them, just the kind of person that really thought their their life had a lot of like particular significance, and and that the the moves they were making carried a lot more weight than they really did. Um, let's grab this. Um, just a lot of, like, weird, tense discussions and debates and arguments in my place of work. Which is a, a weird atmosphere to set up. <laughs> um, I guess we will roll. Again. I could try and get PhD, I suppose. Um... Yeah, I it was it was just very strange. I, I I did I think some of my favorite stories uh whoops are of like the you know times that I went to go and ask for like a, a pay rise. And I would hmm, I would uh I would <laughs> I would go to the CEO of the company. Um and this was like right when I think I I think I can talk about all this stuff cuz it's been like Almost three years now. Um, but, uh... Um, yeah, I, 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 I went to go see the CEO of the company. And this was, like, in the in the midst of some really big business drama. You know, some, some really crazy stuff was going on at the time. Um, but I won't get too into the details of that. But, but I, <laughs> I went to, um... I went to the CEO of the company and I was like, hi, I'd like a pay rise. And he said, oh, okay, you, are you sure that this is the time to be asking? And I looked him dead in the eyes and I was like, yes. I think this is the perfect time to be asking because in, in my weird head at the time, I could like leverage how desperate his situation was for the best possible outcome. I was twisted, man. I, I, had, some, I had some sick ideas on how to be a good employee. Not that I care too much about being a good employee these days, at least in that regard. I care about, you know, being part of a team, I guess. But, um, <laughs> I'm not all about, like, climbing the corporate ladder like I used to be. Um, no thank you. Um, whoops. Um, but, 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 this, uh, yeah, this conversation, he was like, um, you you probably shouldn't be asking this right now and I was like well you know I'm going to I think it's the right time and he asked how much I was making I told him he asked how much I wanted and what I asked for maybe like a 50% pay increase which is a it's a, a big number 50% is a very large number to have your pay increased by that would be indicative of some pretty extraordinary like work or you know underpayment in your in your previous time working the role especially if your role isn't actually changing um whoops so so he <laughs> looked i mean rightly so looked pretty stunned when i said that i wanted a 50 percent pay increase um whoa hold on a sec um, and, uh, and then, you know, said, you know, I'm not taking anything off the table, I'm not going to say no to that specifically, but I will say that you can go and have a conversation with, you know, this, like, management team. So I went and spoke to the management team, and they gave me a no, and that was when I wound up quitting my job. I, because that was, I was still, I was still playing Kendall Roy. I heard, you know, you are not... You're not right for the job. You're next. You're not next in line for the, the business succession. Uh, so I was like, all right. Well, if I'm not next in line, then I'm not in line. I'm out of here, man. I want nothing to do with it. Whoops. I don't really know what my plan was there. Um, so I left. I quit my job off the back of that conversation, and it felt pretty good. It, at the time, it felt good because I was like, yes, I'm making my big. <laughs> my big life decisions, my big business choices. Like, retroactively or retrospectively, 
I'm happy I did it because now I operate like a normal human being. <laughs> and, you know, my life choices are based on, like, things that I personally would like and things that would make me happy rather than, um, you know, financial gain. Um, which is a way of living my life that I am much, much happier with. Um, it feels a lot more... It feels a lot more fulfilling, you know? I haven't really done a lot, but I still feel more fulfilled than I did when I was trying to, like, operate on a wavelength that doesn't come natural to me. Um, to, like, worry so much about, you know, what are the numbers and, oh, no, 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 thank you. That was upsetting. This is a little bit less upsetting, though. Um, we can finally donate our hard-earned money. And we managed to get it all in. Amazing. We didn't get any shop level ups though. I don't know when the store level's up. I hope it's soon because right now our stores are a little underwhelming. We have just about everything I think we need from this floor. So we can go. We have so many bombs. <laughs> I didn't realize. Okay, we're going to bomb you. I think I hit myself with my own bomb. I thought that didn't happen. Um, this is a little hairy already. In fact, I think we'll be okay. We're not going to get a devil deal here, which is a little sad. But, um, we, we made boss rush. I don't know if this is the most boss rushable run. I think we'll just keep going for now. We'll worry about that another time. We have all the time in the world to do boss rush. Um, oh my goodness, I almost walked right into that. Um, yeah, okay, so what have we covered today? We've covered, um, last night's stream. We've covered my Kendall Roy year. I can't, I, you know, I can't really think of much else that I did during my Kendall Roy year. That was sort of the, the highlights. Um, I, I will say that, like, even after that situation, a library, huh? Um, even after that, that employment situation, and you know, before and after, I've just always had quite a cool ability to... Nice. I didn't even think about that. Um, quite a cool ability to get myself into <laughs> hairy employment situations. Um, or just hairy situations generally, but, but employment often has something to do with it. I've had, you know, I, I worked another job before that. It was like a retail job wherein I worked night shifts. And this was after a very long time um, in high school thinking that I wanted to work night shifts, that night shifts would be right up my alley. I was like, I'm up at night anyway. That uh, Night shifts would be so easy, and they pay you more money for working unsociable hours. It's, it's the perfect crime. Um, it turns out, after working, I think I only worked the one year night shifts. Um, not that fun, not that easy, kind of trash. Um, it sucked. I had a terrible time. Um, it was not aided by um, the an issue that meant that I was... Working at this, this this retail store that I worked at by myself uh, each night, there were supposed to be two people working there. And the, the, the guy that I was meant to be working with, he was with me for a little while. And then he just stopped coming into work. And I asked where he'd gone. And I think the best, the best response that I got I'm going to use this because I'm being kind of a dum-dum right now. Um, the, the, the most informative response that I'd gotten was that he kept handing in sick notes. This is crazy, by the way. What is happening? Um, the most informative response that I got was that he kept handing in sick notes. And so nothing could be done to get, to get rid of him because he wasn't really doing anything wrong. He was ill. And they had, like... 
the responsibility to take care of him. But I think it was on like a technicality that he was able to get the sick notes or something like that. So I don't, yeah, I don't know all the specifics, but I know that he wasn't that sick because I saw him all the time and he wasn't coming into work, which was a, a bad time for me because it meant that I was stranded there by myself. We've gotten so many speed upgrades this run. Um, and yeah, that was, um, that job was kind of, kind of whack, man. Wait, yeah, no, I didn't think that was going to work. We should have used our bombs. I totally forgot about the bombs. Okay, well, I need to wake up a bit for this next boss fight, because I think as with a Zazel on Mum's heart, it's not the best combo. Azazel, very strong for a lot of a standard run, but it doesn't feel like he would be that strong on the heart. It's been a while since I played Azazel. I, 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 f I finished his post-it on my home run, and then I just kind of stopped playing him, because I quite enjoy the way the other characters play. This is a little much, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, I, I honestly... I might even be persuaded to do what we did yesterday and just kind of skip a lot of the floor with my bombs. This room is pretty manageable, but in future, I might just do that. Um, it's a good thing that we're here. I'm, I'm discovering I can talk relatively consistently, ad-libbing, for maybe like 30 odd minutes. Yeah, about 30 minutes. After that, I start to get a bit lost. <laughs> I kind of start running out of juice. I might even do a second video today. If I do, I'll be very impressed. Because I don't, at this present moment, feel super, uh, you know, full of things to talk about. Um, oops. Uh, but it would help a lot in terms of getting content out reliably if I could be one video ahead of schedule. Because right now I'm recording these on the day. And it's it's very early in the day, so I have a lot of time. I don't necessarily have to do another Isaac run like now. I can do it later tonight. Well, pre-stream. Or maybe that's it, maybe that's the move. I, I, I do a, no. I could say, I was gonna say I could do a run on stream, but I don't know if that's gonna be the move just yet. Oh my God. That was pretty nice. That's really nice. That's going to help a lot. Ooh, uh, I want these. I just realized. <laughs> Let's grab this. Oh, there's so many hearts in here. <laughs> was I? I was not full on hearts when I came through there before. Um, there we go. Um, have I done any other interesting job stuff? Um, Al? What else have I done in my in my work life? I can't think of a whole lot. I... I had a job at a cafe. At like a, a diner. And I had that job for about a week. And then I decided I didn't want it anymore. I didn't like it. Um, and that I wanted to do something else. With my time. And so I told them that I was moving very far away. And the, um, I, it, <laughs> this is such a weak lie. I've always been quite a weak liar. Um, I told them that I was moving very far away and that it had been sprung upon me and there was nothing I could do about it. Um, and then I just stopped working that same day because, you know, I moved away, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So there was nothing I could do. I'm going to go get this extra half a heart because yesterday's <laughs> run came down to half a heart and I'm not having that happen a second time. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just told them that I couldn't work there anymore, and then I, and then I left. I think I've done that a couple times. I've just kind of been like, oh, yeah, no, there's nothing I can do. I just have to stop working for you now. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've already kind of goofed it a little bit. Ah, ah, ah. 
This is... We, we don't have a ton of damage. I'll be honest. Um, I'm gonna have to go a little... A little quiet here while I try and focus up. Because I don't have the highest of hopes. Right this second. I'm struggling to really put out the damage that I think we need. Oh no, we're doing a lot better now. Never mind, ignore me. We're fine. One more. Alright, not even one more. That was actually fine. I don't know what I was complaining about. <laughs> it was a Zazel run too, so we actually could have done like f 10 minutes faster than yesterday's run. Um, Alright, we don't need to see this. A lot more unlocks again. Love that. Uh, cool. Three win streak. Three, three for three. That's what we like to see. Um, thank you very much for coming out. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.